Hello, and welcome to uh, a little bit different kind of a video. I figured I'd uh, kind of take a break from all of the uh, RP, take a step back, and, you know, make a little tier list. Uh, if you guys do want to fill this out on your own, have some fun with it. The link will be in the description. But, you know, I figured with all these tier lists going down for fast food, uh, tier lists for whatever, 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 I would make one for the Eclipse RP gangs. Now, first of all, please don't get mad for uh, whatever thing I do. This is all just going to be on my opinion and just a fun thing to do. I figured, you know, take a break, make a tier list, have some fun, mess around a little bit. So what I want to be doing in this video is kind of making different tiers. So obviously S is the best, F is the worst. I'm going to be rating the game kind of on their RP standards, events they host, stuff they do, and then obviously like if they're toxic or not, the amount of members they have, the quality of their members, stuff like that. It's just going to be kind of a fun thing to do. So uh, let's start off. I think we're going to go, you know, we'll go in order. I also included Sheriff's Department and PD because we all know those are the kind of the biggest gangs on the server. Uh, you know, not really PD, more of a gang. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to start this off uh, with the Shelby's. So, I um I had a couple interactions with them, I believe, in a couple videos, and the RP was always good, although I did see them recruit, like, a shit ton of people, I believe, if I remember correctly, um, at one point. But they've always had pretty fun RP. Uh, I know they did kind of break up for a while. I'm going to give them... Um, I think we're just going to go see. Again, I'm not, I don't know how to base every... Well, once, like, I'll probably move stuff around. Uh, towards the end, but let's just keep them at C for now. They have pretty good RP from what I've seen at least uh, I had like a meeting with them a couple times. They're all like cool dressing all this shit They uh, roll around do a lot of fun stuff from what I've seen I know that they have recently lost a lot of members. So they did lose a lot of members But if I remember correctly, I think they're recouping at the moment uh, So we're gonna keep them in C for now kind of like the middle ground between everything uh, Los Santos a motorcycle club now I believe this used to be run uh, by Arabella, or she was hosting a different one. But I do know that they host events at their gas station on Route 68. Uh, all the experience I've had with them, or all the times I've been with them, they had some really cool RP. Uh, they do host those events, I think, quite often. I please car shows there. Uh, I did make a video or two on them, I believe. I think I'm going to put them at B for now. Uh, again, these are another one that I don't know a ton about, so I can't really rate them too definitely. Uh, as we go along the list, I'll probably change these guys around depending on what else we put in the different tiers. For now, I think we're going to do <laughs> Los Santos Motorcycle Club at B. Uh, again, they did have that car show. Uh, I do occasionally see them roll around in groups, which is actually really cool to see. Uh, you know, yeah, we're going to leave them at B. We're going to leave them at B for now. Uh, yeah, the Clowns, uh, I believe this used to be run by Ski. Early Ski was part of it for a while. Uh, I literally just see them as clappers only. I don't really see them RP much. I see them clapping, which, you know, if they want to RP that way, if they want to have fun that way, they can. It's not my place to tell them. But overall, I think I'm going to give them a D. Again, I really don't see them RPing. I see them going around clapping, and that's about it. Uh, Reapers, I, I don't know too much about. Yeah, I believe, yeah, this is the Reapers. Okay. Um, hmm. I know for one part they did start to help us with the war. I know they've been around for like a decent amount of time. I haven't had a ton of experiences with them, though. I believe they're kind of also kind of a clapper game, but I, 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 know, I, think I don't know for now at least. I just don't know enough about them. I haven't really experienced them too much. I've seen them like once while the, the war started and we almost came up with them or something like that. Um, so I also included some of the gangs that I was in here that aren't really around anymore. I put in seaweeds and I put in wanted. Because I figured, you know, since uh, some people did see them on the channel, I'd include them for some fun as well. So I think Wanted, uh, Wanted was actually amazing. Uh, at the start, it was a lot more fun because we did, uh, we did a bunch of races. We did races, I believe, to be ranked up in the gang as well. We would do, like, races almost every night. We had some awesome RP. And then we had the whole CIT situation, which is, like, the secret organization. Uh, if you guys do want to catch up on all of that... Uh, again, just to look a little bit, um, I'll probably put the name or I'll put a little thing at the top right if you want to click on kind of where all the wanted stuff started. But uh, we had like a whole secret organization come in uh, that was like kidnapping us, torturing us and stuff like that. And ended up me getting super paranoid, RP Lee. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, I believe the leader of this Hakan really ran it really well. Um, I think Jamar, or J yeah, Jamar also. Uh, Jamar Bigums, I believe it was, was also really great. Um, there was some really cool RP with them. Unfortunately, again, it ended like most of the other gangs through a council war. Actually, I think every gang I've been in has been ended because of council. But uh, <laughs> I believe I'm going to put them at A. Um, they have some really good RP as well. I think, yeah. Um, kind of after 
the war started or we're kind of a couple of months into or a month or two into after I joined though, I felt like it definitely degraded a little bit. So I'm going to give them an A though for now at least because I do think, yeah, I think they're good at A for now. They had some really good RP, but I think it kind of went down as the war went up, which I mean, it's kind of reasonable. Can't really RP when you're getting chased around by 100 people all the time. Gangster Disciples. Now, these are pretty new. Um, I don't know much about them, but I know that they're literally, from what I've seen, uh, pretty much just clappers as well. So I'm going to put them in D, I think, as well. Um, again, I don't know a ton about them, so this isn't a super informed decision. But I do know that they're pretty much just clappers, which, again, people can do whatever they want. But uh, I'm going to give them a kind of a low rank on this, because, again, I haven't really seen them RP too much. I've only seen them really, like, clap or shit talk. Pretty much all I've seen. Uh, so next... 4C's Order. So this is kind of the split off uh, from Triads. Because of the gang cap, Triads had to kind of put most of their uh, flood over of members into another gang. So they created the 4C's Order. Uh, which again is kind of just like a subdivision of the Triads. And I don't really know too... I honestly don't know enough about them to really put them in any category, I think. Uh, they're still relatively new. So I'm going to put them in, I don't know for now. Uh, they're still relatively new, but they are kind of a subdivision of the triad, so there's probably going to be some decent RP from them. Uh, Los Santos Disciples. Now, I'm not sure if these guys are still around. I dealt with them a little bit back in the day. Uh, it's some interesting RP. Again, they didn't seem... They seem to be, again, kind of uh, a clapping group. I don't know too much about them, um, but I did interact with them a little bit around time. I'll give them a C. They had some pretty good RP. Some pretty decent RP from when I did interact with them, but uh, I don't know. I don't have a, I don't have a ton of info, so this one's again not another super informed one. Dojin Kai. So Dojin Kai starting off 100% S tier, like they had amazing RP. Um, the whole there was like a whole entire trial thing, uh, or not trial thing, but a whole entire uh, initiation thing to become part of the real gang, which kind of didn't translate too well on video, so I didn't put it in a video. Um, but there's some really really awesome RP, a whole entire uh, kind of backstory to the gang and everything. I thought it was really cool. But after the war started, I would say they're down to probably a B. Yeah, probably a B, honestly. Um, kind of after the war started, or kind of, it seemed kind of after I joined, they were recruiting people based on kind of how much money they had, if they had cars, if they have guns. Uh, not too much about, like, taking them into the gang, treating them for a while, seeing if they do well, and then recruiting them. So I'd say when I first joined, it was definitely an S, but when I left, probably an F, but I would say overall, probably B. I'd put Dojin Kai around B around now. Yeah. Um, the owner of it, uh, freaking Ghost, might come back someday, I'm not sure, but after that war started, we lost pretty much all of our higher-ups, and it went down to probably a D or an F, but uh, overall, I'd probably put them around a B. Uh, which might be surprising to people, but again, I'm trying to be kind of unbiased. Uh, obviously, it's going to be pretty much off of all of my experience, but uh, I'd put them around B overall. They're pretty good, pretty good. Great RP at the beginning. Went a little downhill after the war and stuff. A little, little downhill after I joined, but you know, that's kind of just my curse. Um, Murder Block. So, these are another group that does a lot of clapping. Um, when we started the war, I think we teamed up with them initially, and I talked to some of their members, and literally every member I talked to was always fun. Uh, they had really good attitude. Uh, a lot of them were pretty talkative, had a lot of fun with them. They were didn't take it too seriously, but they still had some good RP. Uh, they have some pretty cool videos out as well. I think I'm going to give them a B as well. I feel like they probably, yeah, I feel like they probably go around this category as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep LSMCs there still. Murder Block was always pretty fun though. Uh, again, they didn't take it too, too seriously, but they did have a lot of fun. Uh, they were definitely a little bit more on the clapping side in my opinion, but uh, they did have some really cool RP as well. So I'm going to keep them around B, I think. Uh, Midnight Club. So yeah, this is Midnight Club. Uh, obviously the logo is a little bit cut off, but they're kind of a car group. I went to one of their car shows, I believe. Uh, they also have an amazing trailer, which I recommend just looking up like Midnight Club Eclipse RP trailer. It's pretty awesome. Uh, really well made. I think I'm going to give them... Oh, damn. B is getting freaking a little stacked here, but I think I'm going to put them in the B category as well. Uh, their car shows they host, I don't know if they still even do them anymore, but they do do a lot of really cool racing within their members and stuff, I know. Uh, I know there's another car gang in town called, I think it was like American Muscle Club, which I couldn't, uh, really know about enough about them, or have enough to put them on this tier list, um, so I decided not to put them on it, but I do think Midnight Club's probably around a B, 
Yeah, probably around the B. Uh, I went to one of their shows again. It was some really cool RP. They had like a whole contest and everything. I, I think they had some really cool stuff. So I'm going to put them in B for now. Uh, yeah, probably stay there, actually. Aztecas. So I believe they started as Los Novo Aztecas. And then that gang kind of broke up because of some differences between some of the command. If I remember correctly, again, I don't know all this firsthand. So if some of this info is wrong, that's why. Um, but I believe uh, this is kind of like a subsection or kind of after... Los Novos Aztecas kind of devolved. It turned into just regular Aztecas. Uh, literally every single interaction I've had of this group has been pretty amazing. Um, I know that when they first started off, they were like all like a Mexican cartel and they all had Mexican accents and stuff, which was really cool. Um, but you know, now that they're just Aztecas, uh, they definitely still do give off like this kind of cool kind of vibe. Uh, every situation I've had of them, they've always been super OOCly nice, super OOCly kind of um about it i've never really seen i've never actually seen ever uh any toxicity from them at least oh Seely, personally uh i remember once we were going around to like shootouts me and a friend and we saw one of them on the ground and that dude literally just said just like take my shotgun like i'm not gonna need it which is like some good rp especially because you know like when you're dying you're not gonna care about your shotgun so we had no problem with us taking it literally told me to take it um uh, every interaction I've had with them, like, just driving by, I've, they've never been, like, toxic or annoying. They've always been, like, what's up? But um, <laughs> every every situation I've had with them, they've been uh, really fun. I've never had any toxicity from them. They've always been pretty chill. They've had some cool RP. I want to put them in A. I'm going to put them in A, I think, for now. They had some really cool stuff. Um, if I were to join another big gang that's in council, I'd probably join Aztecas if I was able to. They have, again, I have some really, really cool stuff from them. So I'm going to keep them in A. Next, uh, the Rooks. So, the Rooks are technically still alive. I think they go under, like, some other gang now, name now. Uh, I don't know if I should say it, just because I don't want people to metagame it, or it's probably already known. I think it's, like, I don't know exactly the name of it. Uh, I completely forget. But, I think Rooks, uh, overall, probably S-tier. Um, now, not a lot of people saw their RP... But when I was in it, uh, obviously, always the other gangs probably have a lot of RP that goes on behind the scenes that I don't see as well. So again, I'm not uh, I'm not like super informed here when I'm rating any of these. This is just kind of my opinion on them. So don't take this as like a super informed decision. Most is just from my kind of point of view and from what I've seen. But Rooks, ever since I joined and they had that, um, uh, I believe the initiation was like you go up to a bridge and if you're in the gang, you're fine. If you're not, you jump off the freaking bridge and die. Which I think was such a cool way to uh, kind of intro it. And then after I joined, they had like consistent good RP. Consistent cool stuff happening in the gang. Um, I did make a couple of videos on it. We had like that whole drama with Gage. With the whole gang breaking up. Um, literally the whole entire time throughout the breakup and everything like that. Everyone was pretty cool. Uh, if not super cool, OO Seelie. Um, I Seely, they had some awesome RP. Everyone hated each other. I Seely was good OO Seelie from what I saw at least. I'm going to give them an S. Um... Every situation ahead of them, awesome RP. They kind of try and keep uh, a low profile, which I think is really cool. Which So not a lot of people see their RP, but when I was in it, there was a lot of really cool stuff. And I'm going to put them in S. Okay, so next, Seaweeds. Um, so I was in Seaweeds, I believe it was like the first gang I joined that I actually made content with. Uh, the only other gang I joined besides Seaweeds was Exiled back in like 2018, which I don't even know if anyone remembers them. Seaweeds... Honestly, for fun factor, S plus, friggin' S plus to the sky. But as seaweeds as a gang, I'm gonna have to give them a D. Um, like, <laughs> it was probably one of the most fun gangs to be in. Um, but we just fucked around pretty much all the time. Uh, we did have some really cool stuff. Ah, I don't know, actually, maybe a C. Maybe a C, I think. Uh, we mostly just fucked around most of the time. We weren't really organized. We didn't really have plans for stuff. Our ranks were kind of weird. Um, we did have a lot of cool RP, but overall, it was kind of a janky gang. Uh, but it was probably, if, fun factor, S, but overall, I'm probably gonna give it a C, I think. Next, Front Yard Ballas. Uh, so these guys are usually around, um, quite a couple locations, actually. Always rolling in purple. Uh, most of them kind of had, like, that gangster attitude, which I really like. Uh, I've always seen some cool stuff from them. I don't I don't even know if you guys are in town anymore, but I know they were really popular when they were. I'm going to give them a B tier, I think. Uh, again, this is another one I don't know a shit ton about, 
but I do know that they really had some some pretty decent RP from what I've seen. They were a lot of fun to hang out with. They, again, another gang that didn't really take themselves too seriously. Had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm going to give them a B tier for now. Again, this is pretty uninformed decision, but B tier I'm going to go with. Now we're getting into the big ones. Triads, Zetas, and uh, Law Enforcement. I think we're going to go Law Enforcement first. PD. Um, I was having some really good experiences with them. And then I had a bunch more, and they were all pretty bad, uh, like power gaming cops, cops not really giving a shit about RP, cops pretending to be AFK doing stuff. Um, from what I've had, at least just experiences I have had, I'm going to give them a C. Half of the people in PD are amazing RPers, go along to situations, but the other half are kind of OCly toxic, um, don't really care about RP, only care about winning. So, I'm going to give him kind of a C, I think. Honestly, maybe even a D at this point. Um, I don't even know. It's just really 50-50 of PD. When you get pulled over, you're going to get this guy who likes to RP, give you a chance to escape even, maybe. Or you're going to get this guy who like doesn't even RP, just slash do yes, slash do no. And that's about it. And we'll just try and give you maximum sentence. So it's really 50-50 with PD. I'm gonna give him. A, I'm gonna give him a C because again, it is 50-50. I've had some really great RPers in PD that I've interacted with. I've had some really poor ones. So I'll give him kind of a mid-range C. Uh, let's do. Let's do Sheriff's County. So surprisingly, uh, you might think that they're pretty much the same as PD. For some reason, every single interaction I've had of SD. They've been fun. They've had a good time. Uh, they've never been overly toxic to me. For some reason, I don't know what it is about SD, but I've always had good interactions with them. Uh, I'm going to give them a B, I think, for now. Uh, I think they kind of fit with kind of the rest of the stuff in this category. I don't know what the difference is between PD and SD's kind of demeanor, but SD always seems to want to have fun. They go a little bit, uh, sometimes they go a little bit overboard with the cowboy stuff, which makes it even more fun. So I'm going to give them a B for now. Pretty, pretty fun, guys. Uh, again, never had really any bad interactions with them, ever. They've always been a lot of fun time. Uh, again, some people may have uh, bad interactions with them, but from what I've seen personally, I think SD has been a lot of fun. Uh, again, I would rate PD higher in the same class, but if it's always 50-50, it seems, um, I think they should stay in the C category. So now, we're going to be getting on to the two big ones in this uh, in this whole thing. Triads and the Zetas. So, uh, let's start off, the, I'm going to leave the Zetas for last, because it's going to be the most controversial one, no matter what I do. If I put him in A, if I put him in S, if I put him in F, it's going to be controversial a little bit. But, uh, I guess let's start, let's start with the Triads. So, um, I believe, yeah, again, Triads have been around for pretty much as long as the server's been around for, if I remember correctly. Uh, they've gone through multiple stages had uh, multiple things happen, multiple leaders, I believe, uh, multiple higher-ups, multiple people changing different organizations in the gang, a um, bunch of stuff that's happened with them, but overall, um, I have to give them an S, like, I don't really, I, can, I can't really put them at anything else besides S, um, like, as much as people may hate them for certain stuff, or following Zetas, or whatever you want to say, Tries have always had amazing RP, um, again, there's a lot of them, so there is some bad ones, but overall, Triads, uh, hate them or love them, they do provide a lot of stuff to the server, uh, and I think that's why it should be S tier. Um, again, they do kind of go along with council sometimes, or they did, and trying to like kind of get people out of the city, which is totally reasonable. Um, they can't really do much against uh, Zetas, I mean, they could probably fight against them when Zetas were a thing back in the day, but I don't really think that they would have really benefited from that. Uh, they've kind of always been at the top, and they've always... Uh, actually, should it be A? You know, I'm going to give them S. They've been here since the start. They've consistently provided like the same form of RP in my, uh, in my experience. I've seen some stuff behind the scenes as well from Triads, and they always seem to have some really cool behind the scenes RP in the way they do stuff. Alright, so last, last, and but definitely not least... We have the Zetas, so no matter where I put these guys, if I put them at F again, if I put them at S, people are going to be probably be a little a little butt hurt either way. Um, technically, I'm pretty sure they've disbanded since uh, Jay Gamble left the server, and uh, I see Lee, if I was making this gang tier list, they'd be at F, because they've pretty much fucked me over in every single gang I've joined, every single situation I've joined, they fucked me over. Um, but honestly, I think they're going to be A. Um, now that might come as a little bit surprised since I always pretty much shit talk to Zetas 24-7, 
Uh, at least I see Lee. Maybe it's a little bit of a see Lee. But um, I think I think they deserve the A. Uh, they've been here since the start. I mean, technically, they're not really a gang anymore, but they're still around. Um, kind of when the gang was still forming, it was definitely an S tier. But as it evolved and became kind of like the big boys on the server, the game became a little bit more of a bullies on the server. Uh, if they didn't like a gang, they would basically just basically just make all those people leave the server uh, or hunt them down until they do leave the server, which has happened to me again with, I'm pretty sure every single gang I've joined. Uh, Rooks again is still kind of around, but every single gang I've joined, Zetas have pretty much shut them down. Uh, at some point, uh, they make people pay tax. They're kind of assholes. Um, but again, that's kind of their RP. That's kind of what they do. They're kind of assholes of the server. That's just kind of how they are. Um, you can't really fault them for that because, again, it is all RP. Uh, they may sometimes be a little overseally toxic, but being the assholes on the server and being the biggest assholes on the server should still account for something. Um, even though that's kind of how they are, uh, they I've had some decent experience with them. Uh, I, I know I talked to Jay Gamble when I was making my... Uh, my gang back in the day, or at least trying to, he was pretty chill. Um, again, most of the people in the higher ups and Zetas are super chill, super great. Uh, it's really the kind of the people at the bottom who kind of see themselves as above everyone else that kind of screws up their whole persona, I think. But overall, I do think they're in A. There's definitely some bad apples that were in Zetas, or maybe even are, if there's still kind of some people around. But overall, as much as I do hate them, uh, you kind of got to give them credit for being kind of there the whole entire time, kind of building this like unique thing, like the superpower on the server. As much as people hate it, as much as I hate it myself, you got to give them credit for kind of creating some kind of cool and unique RP. So I think that's going to be uh, about it for this tier list. Now, again, this is just kind of a fun thing to do. Um, so, again, don't take this video too seriously. It's just kind of a fun thing I figured I'd do. I see people making tier lists. So, you know, might as well make one for gangs on the server. Um, again, if you don't agree with my opinions, I totally I totally get it. Um, I don't see stuff from everyone's point of view. I don't get the full story on every single gang. This is kind of just from my experience with the different gangs on the server. Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, I guess. If you guys do want to kind of make your own or... Uh, do the same exact tier list. I'll put the link to this in the description. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I'll definitely be making some more GTA content on the actual server soon, but I figured this would kind of be a fun video to make. Just some lighthearted fun. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, and uh, if you want to, subscribe. And uh, if you guys do want to see kind of more lighthearted content like this, just some fun stuff to mess around, um, let me know. Again, this is just kind of something fun to do. Uh, obviously not the usual content I put out, but if you guys do enjoy this, uh, definitely let me know. And uh, if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.